This place is beautiful. I'm at the Tuxpan in beautiful Cuba, in Veradero. This place is amazing. I thought I would give a bit of a review of this place to kind of help you out uh, when you get here. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. The one thing about Cuba is they have these really old cars. This one behind me is a Ford. It's from 1927. This had the crank at one time. So this car is an original um, Ford uh, with the, that had the crank. And then over the times, they just changed it over because it's more feasible. Uh, these elevators can be very slow. So remember, you're on holidays. So it's okay to have your time here go by really slow because you're here to have a good time. And now I wait. Because I have a lot of patience. Come on, hurry up! One thing about this resort is you have to be very careful of the bathrooms because they have these little metal slivers that, that sticks out and they will destroy your shorts. I've already destroyed two shorts. They've ripped holes in them. You know, you just have to be very careful. So right here is a great place to get your drinks. This bar behind us has some amazing drinks. Uh, the ones outside, uh, they don't have a blender. So you get, if you're not drinking any alcohol, the virgin pita coladas out here are pretty lame, actually, to be honest. Like, they only have like pineapple, and, uh, pineapple juice and pita colada juice, and that's pretty much it. But this lady behind me, this lady, she makes some amazing drinks. She is a superwoman. And this guy's a, a great superman. Oh, and you. can I give this to both of you guys? Yes. This is for you. you. So it's very, it's important if you tip uh, these servers, they will go out of their way to, to help you. And so we have this new uh, drink called Superwoman, which I made up, by the way. But like I said, this bar is the place to come if you want to uh, get great service and great drinks, Thank better you. than all the Thank other you. ones. <laughs> so this is the place where you eat. This is where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, any time of the day. <sighs> Actually, that didn't make sense. Let's try that again. So here you go. Look how nice these are, right? Ah, tastes like Cuba. Mm. I usually get two or three of these because look how small these glasses are. This is a great tip for you. Bring your own glass because these are very small. And if you, they don't mind filling it into your own cup. So that's a great tip for you because that way you, like, mm, I'm almost done. If I had a bigger cup, I'd have way more. Oh, there's not very many uh, wildlife around this resort in case you guys like, you know, animals. Uh, there's little tiny lizards. There's no venomous spiders. Uh, that will harm humans here in Cuba. In fact, they don't really have any venomous animals in Cuba. Uh, they do have the crocodile, but they're not venomous, but they will tear you apart if you happen to come across one. But there's nothing around here in Veradero. Um, another good tip is uh, be nice to everyone, and everyone will be nice back to you. I'm gonna head over to uh, the pool uh, to show you it. This resort has a lot of kittens running around, so if you guys are allergic to cats, uh, you might want to avoid this area. These kittens are extremely cute. Hi, kitties. 
This is one of the beauties of being in a resort. Uh, this is a swim bar, which is very exciting for a lot of people. You can just swim up, you never have to leave the pool. The great thing about this pool is you can just jump in. Here in Cuba, the beaches are absolutely beautiful. They're white sand beaches, uh, very clean, they have security, and they also have a lifeguard on duty. There is a lot of different nationalities that are here right now. There's lots of Russians, there's lots of Europeans, there is a lot of Canadians. We've met a handful of Americans. The water is so warm and very clear. There is a lot of activities that you can do here in Cuba. Now I want to uh, remind you about the alcohol. You don't have to worry about the Cuban people being cheap on their booze. These bartenders, they will just keep pouring until you say, hey, that's enough. You can also rent a catamaran, but you have to have a guide go with you. You know, this has been uh, a really cool adventure. Uh, next week, I'm going to be going into the jungles. I'm going to be looking for the smallest hummingbird in the world. They're about this big. They're called the bee hummingbird. They're about the size of a large bumblebee. This is going to be so exciting. And if you want to see that small adventure, just click right here or click right here. This will take you to the adventure looking for the smallest hummingbird in the world. Now, it's time for me to go swimming.